Our playback status display has several configuration options to change what information we can see. Let's collapse our CIA for the moment. And I'm going to touch on the small gear icon down here in the corner. At the bottom of the far left window that pops up, it says PSD. And then to the right of that, I can see all my options. These options will change depending on which tab you have selected. Right up at the top, we have lock or unlocked. I can choose to lock that to a specific queue list. If it's unlocked, it will display the queue list you've most recently worked with. We'll leave that unlocked. I have the option to display queue parts or not. We talk about parts in a later video. Unchecking display queue links will remove the line below your queue list showing that you're linking to another queue. We can also remove the link column, which we'll look at shortly. We'll leave that checked for now. If I want to uncheck display scenes, all of our scenes from the previous video will disappear. And I can bring those right back. Display PSD time countdown will toggle on or off your queue timings counting down live in their columns. If it is unchecked, it will simply show the stored time all the time. I can uncheck my display master playback status if I want to. I'm gonna leave that on. I can also uncheck display fader ribbon which will remove the display at the bottom showing the page of faders I'm currently on. I can check display notes. This is going to open a new box at the bottom of the screen that will display our notes in. I'm gonna press last to get to Q11 and we can see that note we wrote in the last exercise. I also have a button on the right hand side to increase the font size between three different level options. I'm gonna close that note display Break link to live blind will allow the playback status display to stay behind other tabs when you press the live key. When it's unchecked, which is the default, the live display and playback status display will be brought to the front anytime you press the live button. Here we have all the columns that we can see in our PSD, and I can check or uncheck and reorder these as needed. I don't need to see my preheat flag because I'm not using that feature today. That'll give me a little more real estate. And I'm gonna turn off the loop column as well. And I like to have my label over to the left. So I'm gonna select that label column and press my arrow to get it all the way over by my queue number. You can arrange these however you want to. You can also have different arrangements in separate instances of the PSD. So for example, if you had a PSD tab 2.2, you could set this up in a different way than your tab two. I can also turn on notes here and see our note in column form. I'm gonna turn that off. Once I set this up the way that I like, I can set my current tab as the default, which means anytime I open a new instance of my PSD, it will use these settings for that instance as well. I also have the option to reset everything to EOS default. Feel free to set up your PSD the way that you like. And when you're done with that, we will re-record snapshot one.